I don't know if Russia... I don't know, it's not... If this keeps up, Russia might fall if the economy does not improve for long. Or something like that. I don't know, when it comes to a nation this the size of Russia or even China, it's a different story. Same with, say, the former United States. The whole United States. That's one thing to think about. And anyway, we've taken Pearl, uh, League City this time. Time to hit stop and take Galveston. Annihilate the Confederate Navy, what's left of it. Or drive him away. Now, time to head toward the capital, I guess. Taking that easily. Some garrisons here, but not much. That's easy. I might rather not extend too far, just so that we won't have to lose amount of, any amount of supplies. Armalio is not falling. Well, the town of Armalio, not the military complex, as that's been taken. Well, that's going. I need to see whatever planes I have. The only plane is an F-5. Right. Yeah. Considering I don't have any planes. Uh, are these done yet? Almost. Almost done. I have two fighter bombers, so I'll need the Alpha Jets. Mm, but all these others, I don't see the point. Get all that. Remove these messages. These, I also have this uh, at Camp Bowie, which I forgot to check. One is being repaired after being taken f from the uh, Confederacy, so that's one thing to uh, start doing immediately to build up the Air Force. It's not going to be... It's not going to be that uh, simple, though. As these planes will take a while, 65 days to 87 days, take your pick. So I have these planes under construction, I have no new designs. And currently I'm researching a new tank, the A-72R. Maximum research capacity, as it's the as amount of money is rather cheap actually, by game standards. Only about, what was it again, 145 million dollars? Navy is still harassing land forces. Managed to gain some advances. And I kind of forgot about the ships that I've sent out here. Um. Well, I have a destroyer that's over here. Several other ships as well. The majority of the Cuban and some British ships. So, I'll have to send them out to Florida. That's what I'm going to do. I'll send them out to Florida, gain a little amount of territory, as much on the southern tip of Florida, and maybe gain some territory if the Confederacy finally falls. Which it, I doubt, as their economy is still kind of strong. Some sort of, with the American Union <laughs> making continuous attacks, it seems. Uh, no, you are going to get repaired. These guys are going to probably start entrenching. As the American Union did make a rather uh, problematic look here. So, I guess I have no choice but to build a new road. Except for some of these units that are that damaged and they may need to get repaired. Get these guys moving. I don't want them moving yet. Allies at war by Tajikistan this time. Lump of sum of. Uh, okay, I'll accept. But don't you think you're giving? Don't you think you're giving me a little too much money now? Because we have plenty of money to spare. I'm not being ungrateful. It's just. It just seems a little much. 
as for the American Union, the for, their forces are actually making some advances. Finally reaching Florida, except the Confederate Navy has re retaliated and are annihilated. Yeah. There is no way I could take on the Confederate Navy. <laughs> There's just no way. I have these ships down here that are close to Cuba now. But... I still don't understand why I... St it would have been nice to see Cuba declare war against the Confederacy. Maybe gain their own mini-empire? in Florida, but that's not going to happen. Wait, the Bahamas, are they allied with... No, not Cuba. With the American Union, Australia, Austria, Brazil, Dominican Republic. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Confederacy also has Puerto Rico. Wait, if somehow Confeder the Confederacy falls, who would gain this? Pretty sure the American Union might be able to gain Puerto Rico, but... You never know. You never know. And I'm pretty sure there's a pretty strong naval presence on Puerto Rico as well, so this may be a bad idea by sending my frigates out. Alright, they're... Okay. They're well supplied once more. Take this small town of a fit. Uh, the Confederate capital of New Orleans is getting a little bit too close to the American Union forces. The Confederate Navy is still rather formidable. And what? Cuba? Cuba just took these oil derricks for the briefest amount of days, I guess, if this, uh, Ticonderoga would actually get, just en enter, to just enter, and take it back. But, uh, that's an interesting, interesting sight to see. These M1 Abrams are not succeeding taking Sladell. New Iberia. What's next? Uh, maybe these power facilities, and not these, because the American Union has just taken them. We're running out of supplies rather quickly. All these technicals, uh, these guys are going to head out. These guys, I guess we'll try and retake, uh, take over Amarillo again. Alright, finally took that. Oh god. Confederate ships right here. What ship class are these? Transports. Okay, that's, uh... That might be a little bit of a problem, for the most part. Although, why are they here? I don't know. Baton Rouge. River Bend. There's nothing much to say. Entrench on... A small town here. Uh, what are they doing? Just move up. Not all of them. Some are going to have to get repaired. Fast. One ship after another is being sunk. The American Union has just taken that. So, they can have the river bend. Whereas the rest of the forces are going to have to move into, uh, Homa. Well, that is if we don't run out of supplies quickly. 
Yeah, on second thought, maybe uh, entrench here. Well, better see if I can send some ships. Whatever ships I have, that is. Alright, I have a, fr a patrol. A patrol craft. So, move up. Move up, take this oil der these oil derricks, and kind of con start connecting this area. Okay, we finally took our Amarillo Rilo again. Move into this power facility. Coal plant, actually. Yeah, the American Union got those, so I don't care. Ally under attack. Iran is attacked by Kuwait. Declare war. Uh, no. A lot of messages. Alright, that's done. And I pray this sh little ship doesn't get sunk. One oil derrick after another is going to be taken over. And extend the territory a bit so that supply lines could at, l at the very least extend just a little bit. With the exception of some areas on land. But hey, at least uh, less oil for the Confederacy. And what is this? Well, they still have ships, so... And a submarine. Somewhere. Why am I not surprised? Yep, here comes the, uh... Uh, Ticonderoga class? No, that's an Oliver Perry. Alright. Well, time to take Homa. Jeez. Wait, what happened to my other ship? Ah, oh, it got sunk, didn't it? Yeah, the majority of my navy on the Pacific, comparison to the Gulf. Kuwait offering... I'll accept, but why? The economy is not even... I don't know. I mean, we are balanced. I mean, taxes is okay. Social spending is a little bit high. Which, taxes I may have to reduce just a little bit. Maybe to 65%, I guess, for social spending. Oh, these garrisons are still alive. Huh. These guys move out and uh, hopefully help out to attack. This is going to take a while. Nothing much going on here other than the... Uh, the rest of the armed forces just spreading out. What? What's he being bombarded from? Or attacked? Okay. Don't know what that was about. Move there, I guess. We've taken Homa. We're getting. <laughs> These guys are being bombarded by the ships. Aegis cruisers in this Aegis destroyers in this case. Oh god. Okay, uh just entrench right in the middle of nowhere. Right here. Except they're gonna get bump keep on getting bombarded. In this case this is light infantry by artillery, I think. Entrench, hold on to Homa. Uh, the new tank is finally done. Still... I only have three research facilities, so I may have to build another one somewhere. Uh, that's only 300,000 people. I suppose here. Anywhere else? Here, and... Here. That's it for now, so that we could get more research done. At the same time, that is.